Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Backpack Bounce Run, and today there has been a new item introduced in the game, which is the shovel, and first of all, oh, we got such a good start here for a dagger build though, mm, ah no, nah, let's go for the shovel build, so the shovel needs a pan and a broom, that's what it needs, so we're gonna get the pan, we're also gonna get the healing orb guaranteed, let's get the pan, let's also get the room, and next turn we're gonna find the good old shovel, and then the run is a go, I could have gone for the dagger build, but it is what it is. We had a nice start there. Guys are by us. Well, we're gonna win here. Time speed up. They don't even have anything other than starting equipment. We had a pan. So let's go. And now we want to find the good old, uh, I guess, what is it called? The broom. Let's force the broom. Here it is. And we found the shovel, which is, uh, yeah, combine these and see actually what this does specifically. Because as I said, never used this before. This is a new item. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Right now, we're going to get the first shovel we ever had. Let's also get the pan. They changed how the wooden buckler works. 35% chance to prevent four damage and remove 0.5 stamina from opponent. Uh, yeah, they changed how all the shields work to be precise. So that is important to keep in mind. And this guy's also getting a shovel. Everybody's going to be having a shovel. It's going to be shovel fights all over the place let's see what the shovel itself actually does as i haven't even read the description or anything and let's hope for the best here because otherwise uh yeah we're gonna lose it's okay here that we lost they had more food and the time has come for the item to appear here we go shovel so 47 damage already really good stamina 1.5 every 2.2 seconds so that's a stamina consumption of 0.7 per second that's a pretty sizable one on hit 60 percent chance to inflict one blindness when you enter the shop dig up a random item dig up a random item Ooh, we're gonna be getting free items out of this this is a this is a mega a mega piggy bank this is unbelievably strong <laughs> we're gonna get a pan we're gonna get a room and we're, i would say we get the health potion because health potions are busted yeah health potions are pretty powerful and i would also like to have a banana because this is gonna definitely cost us a bunch of energy on hit on hit 60 percent chance to inflict blindness guaranteed oh this is a lightsaber build we're gonna definitely buy the banana we need room. We're gonna get the strong health potion here. Uh, let's also buy a stone. Always buy stones when you have the choice to do so. And as I said, we will buy the banana. We will need energy for sure for all these shovels and whatnot. And it's a shovel against shovel build. It's always gonna be shovels now. Everybody's gonna be playing shovel. I wanted to do some other builds at some point, but I guess shovel build is a thing now. Everybody's gonna be playing shovel. We're obviously gonna play with a debuff build, as debuffs is what we're gonna be doing. Very nice. Quick win. Nice. And we even had the potion here. And I, sh I got what? I got a chip topaz attack speed. Might as well put it over here. Uh, I found another healing potion, which is insane. Let's take that. I don't really want the banana right now. I want to find another uh, shovel. Although we do have energy issues. Let's buy the banana. We found room. We found attack speed. And I found energy. Definitely buy the energy. Also, let's buy this. Let's push these over here so we get the attack speed benefit. And uh, let's hope for the best again. Although right now we do have room. And when you do have room... You fit a banana in. Boom, got it. Now, the min-max would be the banana touching the pan, but I don't think we will need that. I will definitely buy the region for the potion, and we will continue going for more shovels. Hopefully, we're going to find another broom. I think at two shovels, we're going to be good to go. Uh, I want them earlier than later, because I want to be able to apply uh, to get the free items. So, we want to get the shovels as early as possible. If I could get three of them, it would be awesome. Blinding the opponents a bunch, and then maybe a lightsaber. Triple shovel, single lightsaber build, something like that. Too easy, we won, very nice. When did I get the loss? I didn't even realize. And we found another broom, so shovels here. Let's buy regen, which needs to combine here. I'm gonna throw away the dagger, it's not really gonna fit. We got a stone out of that for free. Pretty mediocre, I would say. Let's also get this, and I would like to find room. Lucky, didn't find room. We found a tax speed, but still not really relevant. We found another potion we're gonna definitely buy. We're gonna sell the stone. Actually, the stone fits. Uh, I want, you know what? I guess we're not gonna have a pan for a moment. If we're not gonna have that for a moment being give me a sec i need to reorganize most likely this yeah reorganize time okay everything fit i'm gonna try to get the level later uh yeah i would say we are good to go i would like to also do vampires i want to do a bunch of builds at this point a shovel against the shovel and the new shield of valor 35 percent chance to prevent 10 damage and remove one stamina that's what this does so preventing 10 damage is really really powerful 35 percent chance to do that it's a lot more powerful than getting shielding my shield, my healing are, my healings are popping. We got the regen here. And we heal even more. Like, they cannot apply poison on us. We are applying blind on them, though. They are uh, blind us by a lot. But we won regardless. They have triple blindness here. Nice. And we got a free blueberry out of that. Blueberry is mana. And also luck. I'm getting free items. This is insane. We're gonna get regen for sure. 
Let's flip these in a way where they fit. And also this region goes in and the banana also stays in because we need energy. And attack speed's found. Corruptor Crystal is here. We can beat the late game. I would say we buy the Corruptor Crystal. Reason being, uh, we don't want to lose from fatigue is my opinion on this. So we shall not lose from fatigue. I I'm just going to have this in the backpack and let's go. We need room. We need more room and lightsabers for sure because we will be blinding the opponent. Oh, it's a regen build. Well, and a vampire's build. Let's hope blindness is going to make them unable to heal because we have two shovels. And we also have energy to theoretically sustain these. And we also have enough uh, health potion here to sustain our life in general. They already have seven blindness, so theoretically they shouldn't even be able to hit us. 55% chance on the sword here. Nine blindness. 45% chance on the sword to hit. Yeah, you're gone. You're gone. Ten blindness at the end. We will go lightsabers for sure. For sure. Wow, this literally gave us a free backpack. Unbelievable how busted these shovels are. Shovels. Everybody's going to be playing shovels from here now. We found the 343. We're going to buy that. We found the Jinx Torquilla, and I found another pan. I'm really thinking about buying another pan. I don't want the Pandemonium. I want another shovel. Triple shovel, let's go. This is stupid, but I'm going for it. Definitely put the crystal in. Definitely put this in. I would like these to be reorganized a bit better. I would like the crystal to be in the poison zone. So whenever it triggers, it activates something. I'm never going to put the crystal here. You always should have the fatigue out. Uh, let's... Should I buy the Torquilla? I don't think so. We found even more mana and luck. Do I care about mana, though? I don't really care about this. Although, lightsaber, nope, that also doesn't care about it. I mean, it's cheap. Let's roll him. I could get really luck, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's get this for really luck. Let's also put this in. And uh, I would say these there is, are gonna trigger faster, so more poison on the opponents. And I found room, very nice. And vampirism, irrelevant, though. I can't really fit anything here. I can definitely buy the room, so let's sell the stone, buy the room, throw a stone in, which is gonna get sold. The pan is, I'm not gonna create a pandemonium, forget that, let's go. We're not creating pandemonium, I'm gonna create a triple shovel. Triple shovel, lightsaber build. And the lightsaber mostly because it applies damage based on how many debuffs the opponent have. Although I could go even more deep into, I could go dark saber, which the dark saber applies even more blind, so we can just invest everything into blinding the opponent. Now, right now, we are winning through Fatigue, by the way. If Fatigue kicks in, yep, it's kicking in right now. We're going to start taking life away from the opponent very fast. You see, they have six, seven, eight. We're done. They're gone. Always have a Crystal to win the Fatigue fights. Always, in my opinion, at least. And here, we're going to definitely go with the Chris Dagger. This thing uh, triggers an extra attack and on hit and flick to random debuffs. The star items have an, a more accuracy and crit chance. Now, we're going to be applying debuffs with the Shovel. So, that, that's pretty much it. We want to go deep into applying debuffs build. And we found the godlike potion belt, and I also found another potion, so that's very lucky on our end here. Let's push these over to the right, let's also buy you. Let's have you here at the bottom, and just like that, we have the potion part ready. Let's also put the, 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 the crystal dagger here, so it hits both of these, and the lightsaber is going to go in this spot. Actually, the lightsaber is going to be up here, and a triple shovel is going to be here. Uh, we can go for buffs, but I don't care about them. I, I think we're good. I think we're good, let's go. I could throw both stones away. If anything, I would like the stones to actually join, as they have no downside whatsoever. Let's put these here, so they min-max the banana damage. Let's actually go like this, so the banana has the fastest, the fastest buff right now. It's getting buffed from almost everything. Let's see how this goes. It's a spikes build. We shouldn't really have that many issues with spikes build. In general, we should have issues, because these are melee weapons. All of my weapons are melee weapons. But uh, them getting blinded makes it so that they cannot attack. And us having a bunch of potions gonna make it so that we don't take that much damage. I mean, they, they need to have like 20 spikes for us to be afraid of spikes. Look at all the poison and blindness and whatever they have. It's over for them. They can't play anymore. Bye-bye. You're gone. Easy enough. Easy enough. And the lightsabers here, the weapon of choice, and another corrupted crystal to always win the fatigue fights. I found even vampirism very nice. So this here says, uh, use three uh, region, which I have a decent region amount to gain, to apply eight blind to the opponent, and this does plus one damage for each applied blindness on the opponent. So we're gonna take this, and I would also like to buy this, to be honest. This is not gonna fit in the board right now. It's gonna go here at some point. We need room right now. Do I want a crystal for even more fatigue? You know what? No, I don't care about fatigue that much. We're not going to be a fatigue build. Throw this out. Throw this out. We're getting a bunch of stones, by the way. <laughs> we got another stone here. And a vampirism. Let's put that on the shovel. This does 4 to 7. This does 2 to 5. So this does more. And uh, I think we're good to go. Let's continue. We need room, as I said, and one more shovel and a darkness potion. So we're missing a couple of things. One darkness potion, a bunch of room to fit everything in, and one um one more they are gonna be blinded enough here to not destroy us right i mean they have nine luck so they're not gonna be blinded enough to not destroy us 
They're also taking our region away. I'm drunk. I drank all my potions. It's over. It's over. We lost. We took in our loss. It's okay. Here is the potion we want. So I want both of these to go in the board right this moment. Let's roll. I mean, attack speed's good. And I would say we can definitely fit the lightsaber right here. Nice. And obviously this potion needs to also join. We have a single spotter somewhere. Here it is. You're gonna go here. No. I'm gonna go here. You go like this. You go here. So this is gonna become the dark saber. Really, really important aspect of the build. How will I fit? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I know how to fit everything. So you go like this. Mini reorganize time. Here, 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 and here. Perfect. And now I can also sell the potions. Roll them. Uh, I could sell the pan. I mean, we definitely want this. I have three potions. I have three stones to sell. So that's not gonna be enough. Let's put the stones in. And let's go. This should be the final fight we lose. Because the moment I get the Dark Saber, we're going to be able to use the mana. In case you don't know what the Dark Saber does, it's right here. So it does 0.5 more damage for each debuff on the opponent. And then on attack, it uses one mana to inflict one blindness. So this is also going to start inflicting blindness. And I definitely want the lifesteal on that thing. Let's go. As that's going to be doing more damage in general. As this does more damage based on how many blind the opponent have. So we will start healing from the sword attacks. Or at least that's what we would hope to get. Now, uh, getting luck is important from uh, the triple mana here that we're using. Because without luck, you cannot really hit. And because everybody is going to be blinding everybody here, we want to get luck up so we cannot miss. And we beat these guys as they have more debuffs than we have. Very nice. Got that going. Found the hammer cheap. Doesn't matter. We also found a healing orb to power up that thing. Really good. And we got the Dark Saber. So it deals 0.5 more damage for each debuff on your opponent, which we are a debuff build anyway. And then when we attack and we have one mana, we use that to inflict one blindness guaranteed always. So now we... You know what we actually need? What we actually need is going to be regen. We need it again. Um, so that means bananas. And I found another nice lifesteal. We're going to put that here. Nope, that's the one we had. We found even more blueberries. I'm going to buy that. We do want mana. Like, mana is a must and we do want this, so let's sell here and buy this. I would say let's put it here. So that this gets even more attack speed. If anything, I would say it should go sideways. And you should go here. And maybe the poison can go up there right now. I mean, the dagger being there would be better. The attack speed's being like this, hitting the dagger so that the dagger attacks often. Although, honestly speaking, the blindness attack often is also really good anyway. Might as well put the stones in and might as well put the sand in. And uh, let's go. I still have the pan with the last uh, shovel. I want triple shovel build. Let's see how this goes. We have a super duper shielding build. We're going to start blinding them with every single attack we do. Yes, we are spending mana, but we're also gaining mana pretty fast. Nice. We also have energy issues. <laughs> That's really uh, the main issue here is energy issues. We need a bunch of bananas. But it's okay. We're still surviving. We just drank all our potions. We have 10 regen and we won. Very nice. We continue winning the fatigue game. Really nice and easy here with the new shovel build. And I found a book of flight to cleanse my blindness. I mean, theoretically, we should take that. We found a piggy bank out of the shovels. This is insane what they drop on us. I'm gonna buy a book of flight, honestly. I think uh, I think removing blindness from our end is really, really important. And we found something very important too. And I also found an energy region, which is also important. What does this combine with? Does this combine... Oh, okay, that's a thing. You can also combine with a banana. Will I take this? I think I will take this. It gives you one region, two stamina. Nah, I just want bananas. I want consistency. And let's also put one more blindness in the void. I want consistency. I don't need burst. I need consistency. And this is a ruby chunk build, which uh, is gonna go for another ruby egg build. We should have this as long as I'm applying enough blindness for these to not even hit us. This is also fatigue build, so Mr. Schwaggle is gonna destroy us. But they have too much blindness, therefore they cannot attack us anymore and they lose. Because Hammer Slammer. And we win. Wow, that was very fast. We're blasting through the game lately. And I found another lightsaber. I'm not gonna buy another lightsaber. I think we're good with Dark Saber. I should also start looking into the health we have. Uh, by the way, these now have a 3% chance to trigger all of these uh, with each other 3% twice. So this, this busted part is done. I'm gonna sell a 2-coiner. Let's roll them. I found another one of the potion belts. I could have put it here and continue going for the potion idea. But I, I don't think we need to invest more into potions at all. Let's continue. Was that a cheap potion bell? I don't remember. Uh, this is a cheap one. And this costs three. I'm going to buy this for four for sure. So we buy this. And I would say the Torquilla. We have exactly nine. So we're going to go here and Torquilla. And Torquilla definitely goes up there. We have room here for this to join. 
like uh, I would like it to hit here here this is the best spot for it it hits uh, pretty much everything so we're gonna transition you over there and uh, I mean we're gonna just flip can I do this I can definitely do this we have so much room here you go also definitely lock this down 344 is really good even though it's might be relevant here you go, and here you go. Very nice. And these are still buffing each other. The banana is like the fastest banana ever existed. This Jinx Throw Killer is hitting everything. Jinx Throw Killer itself also has the upside of giving uh, removing opponent luck. And next Throw Killer should be somewhere around here, for example. Hitting uh, pretty much everything again. I would say here maybe is the next Jinx Throw Killer. Anyway, this one's gonna go here. Let's go. I'm not hitting the banana with it, is the downside. And I'm also not hitting the mana zone, which is also pretty bad. But it's okay should have this we are wasting energy very fast they are playing poison on us but that's not really that bad they have nine blindness already so we already have their dps and now there are 12 14 this should not be hitting anymore yep this has accuracy of 19 16 yeah you're losing accuracy the more we're blinding you and we're not really losing accuracy at all so um yeah you're gone <laughs> you're gone let's go to the next one and now i'm gonna start reading the passion actually the combat logs here as people do enjoy seeing those let's bring this up please and let's go over here and Come on. Here we are. Dark Saber did the most damage, but shovels are helping with blinding the opponent. That's the main idea here. 286 damage on this thing. This is doing 20 to 24. If we fight anything that removes blindness, we're not going to be able to damage them. <laughs> we got two stones. Very nice. Uh, and a blindness. Put the blindness in, put the stones in. I don't know what we need all these stones for, but we have them. So they're going to stay here. You go here. Then the rest goes like this. Roll them. And I found another Dark Saber. Do I want another Dark Saber? Honestly, yeah. I was thinking about going for a double shovel, but might as well go for a double Dark Saber at this point. So might as well buy both of these. You're gonna join right this moment, and you can go at the very top. It's gonna pop, I guess, twice. Not really that important. Uh, the stones just straight up join. The piggy bank just straight up join. And the I mean, I found a banana. I'm gonna trade the banana here. As I just mentioned previously, we're not going to be gaining the shovel anymore, as I'm now going for the double dark lightsaber. Let's also buy a good old fanny pack. It fits, for sure it fits. We have so much room here all over the place. Let's see how this is going to go. Boom. Attack them all, attack them all. I know exactly where I'm going to already fit it. And uh, we are over poisoned, but once again, these are getting drunk here and the poison's getting removed slowly. So really, that's not an issue. And the opponent now is super blinded, so they can no longer attack us. We're still super poisoned, but we, now we just popped the regen. That's nice. And we won. Very nice. Very nice. Opponents can't do anything against us. I got this. 220-250-250 damage. They did also a lot of damage, but if not, almost the same. Would be nice if you could have, like, damage, uh, max damage, or uh, some damage, some or something somewhere, because that's not a thing right now. Nice, we got another stone and a poison thing. Let's put the poison thing, I guess, on the dark saber. Let's put the lightsaber in. This needs to join. I'm gonna fit it. We're gonna buy you and practice our swords here. Let's roll, maybe. I found a 343. We're gonna definitely buy this. Sell the stones. Man, I love the shovels. Shovel meta is the thing now. I have a whole line below which I haven't even touched. And more regen. Nah, more another of those. Honestly, no. I would like to get more blueberries, but not more books. Okay, the time has come for the lightsaber to join, so reorganize time. Okay, back. So uh, now this Torquilla is actually hitting most of the things. It's hitting bananas, it's hitting mana, it's hitting also the corrupted crystal, so we don't lose from fatigue. Actually, you know what? Let's switch these. It's hitting more mana. Uh, because I do need mana, right? I do need as much mana gain as possible. And this uh, Chris Dagger, which gives plus one accuracy and plus one crit chance per debuff on the opponent, is hitting all four of my weapons. So if the opponent has, for example, 3D debuffs, that would be 10 poison, 20 blindness, and I don't know what else, uh, they will get hit for 30% higher chance. We will have higher crit chance and higher luck. So uh, do not avoid, do not miss. And we still got the lightsaber powering up here. So let's go. I want blueberries. I want as many blueberries as possible. This is a potion build, po pocket potion. Good job, Unchained Pleb. This is always something you want to have in all your builds, no matter what you are. But you are super blinded, so you can no longer hit us. These have a 3% accuracy, 3D. Yeah, you're losing even more blindness. Yeah, these have 0% accuracy. They cannot attack us anymore. We're only going to lose from spikes, which I don't think is actually going to happen. They drank their potions. We still have to. And at this point, they are too blinded for us to even be able to lose from this thing. Let's go back to the combat log. 
Yeah, look at this. They The spikes were doing damage. They did 200 damage from spikes. The weapons did nothing. The weapons had a 0% accuracy. Did you see 0% accuracy, 0% accuracy, literally unable to attack us at all. We literally lost 200 damage from spikes. And because spikes uh, retaliates one to one, so if I do 7 damage, it does 7 to us. If I do 20 damage, it's going to do 14 to us. If I do 50 damage, it's still going to do 14 to us. Um, obviously, the spikes cannot kill you as long as the opponent do not, do not have more healing than you do. And I, I have healing, so we're surviving. And I had Dark Saber and Light Saber did almost the same damage, but now I will have double Dark Saber here, which should increase the damage and not decrease it because it's gonna apply blindness faster. Chance to hit health directly, might as well put it on you. This is the poison chip. Yeah, let's uh, let's definitely buy some room. Let's roll them. More room and armor to be precise. Room and armor and more room and energy or blindness for that matter. I will uh, I will buy the energy and I will also blind the blindness. We want to apply as much blindness as possible. Roll them. One more room. Uh, I mean, it does fit here. It's a 3 4 4. It actually fits up here. And this goes one to the right. And then we're pretty much done with inventory completely. And also more energy, I would say. And also un more anti blindness. Actually, more anti blindness is not really that needed. I think we're good to go. If anything, I would like to say let's go with Box of Riches. So we just start getting those gems at the end because I'm super duper filled anyway. So might as well roll for gems. Oh, it's a Poison Dagger, Build, Stun Hammer. We're going to get destroyed here. This is going to burst us down extremely fast unless I blind them faster than what they blind us. If, if we blind them faster than they poison us to death, we win. And at this point, they should no longer be able to even hit us. Yep, we won. So we would have lost. And then we won. Because this thing has 0% accuracy. This thing has 0% accuracy. This thing has 0% accuracy. Oh, 3% accuracy. 3% accuracy. 0% accuracy. 3% accuracy. 0, 0. Like, uh, they cannot attack us at all from after having 23 stacks of blind. Even though they had the dagger that was providing them with crit chance uh, accuracy based on how many debuffs we had. Well, guess what? You're over debuffed anyway. So you can't really do anything to us. The Dark Sabers actually did less damage because they did not have healing. Otherwise, we would have had like 50 blind on them. Very nice. And we found mana, which is irrelevant. We found two dust. That's nice. Uh, you go here. You go, you go here. And you go here. And we have one backpack that doesn't really fit. It might fit later. Let's go here. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's get the banana for sure. We need energy. I would like this to be... Where is this hitting? Hitting in the corner. I guess something like this. Actually, like this, and you go here. Room. This doesn't fit. Blindness one, blindness two, blindness three. Opponent's gonna be starting with blindness all over the place. And we find a hell of her potion. Not really. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go with crystal just to not lose from random fatigue builds. Yeah, I want to make sure we're not gonna lose from fatigue builds. This is not a fatigue build. This is a mana build. And an energy gain build. So they want to bring us down to half health very fast. This is the same build with us. Look how much luck they, uh, blindness they have. We have 22 blindness right now. If we can bring them down to also having 20 blindness, we're going to survive. They are removing debuffs faster than what we do. I have 31, 32. They have 10. I, I don't think we can. Yeah, they, they are out blinding us a lot faster. They have double books. Triple books. Triple books. They remove three blindness per hit. Fair enough. Fair enough. We are pretty much the same build here. With the difference being that they started with a bunch of blindness, which we didn't. And uh, they also uh, had more removal. 486 damage there against our nothingness. Makes sense. All of these builds are you do nothing if you get blinded. If you get over blinded, you do nothing. It's whoever out blinds the other one more. Let's roll them. What did I find? Vampirism. Nice. We're going to split it here so both have Vampirism. Chance to hit health directly. Yes. Chance to poison. Might as well. Garlic. A bit irrelevant. Uh, you know what? These stones are more irrelevant than garlic. So might as well put the garlic in. Uh, let's roll them. Found a 25% lifesteal. Thank you. We're going to buy this. We're going to remove the chance to hit health directly. Throw the stone away. Uh, we're about to end the game anyway. Uh, one more armor might as well. Four more armor actually. Banana. Yeah, we want the banana for energy. Guaranteed. So you join. Roll them. Found one more attack speed. Might as well put it on the deep of dagger. And I think we're ready. So this is irrelevant now. Let's continue rolling. Okay, we found a book. Can I sell enough things to get a book? <laughs> I don't think so. The stone definitely is getting sold. You join. I would say we actually just put in these two. Nice. And I'm going to say you sell this. You sell this. We have seven coins. Not enough for this thing. I could get uh, sell two corrupted crystals or one of them. Four coins. I could sell both of the corrupted crystals. Or I could also sell this shift sapphire that's off screen. That's not going to ever matter ever. Uh, and this, that's 12 coins. Yeah, I'm going to sell one Corrupted Crystal to have one more chance to get damage immunity. I think that's the play. 
And one can only hope. And one can only hope. Let's go. I mean, the damage immunity is not what I care about. The removing blind is what I care about. And this is a uber super duper goober in the making. So we're gonna win this. It's also a fatigue build with four fatigue crystals. So if we get into fatigue zone, we're gonna die. Let's hope we're gonna beat this thing before we die. Fatigue is gonna kill us. We're gonna go down very fast when fatigue hits. And fatigue just hit and we won. Wow, almost almost five seconds later we would have been dead, but we actually won. Why do you have a flawless ruby here? 25% amplify healing. Okay, fair enough. Here are the combat logs. The final fight was very anticlimactic. 240 damage with the one, 182 with the other. Why does this do more than this? I guess because it has a chance to pierce life. I don't think there was any good reasoning as to why that did more. And um, yeah, I mean, this is the build. Just dark sabers and the new shovels. The new shovels are the blind build. This, this is busted, man. The new shovel is very, very powerful. It gives you free items, gives you blindness on the opponents. It's really good. Blinds the opponents, gives you free items and money, and sometimes it might throw you a piggy bank, which the piggy bank itself is money, like, right? That's money creating money, generating money, and then maybe even giving you some items that you need and along the way. Like, the shovel is most likely the go-to item of any build ever, at least early game, right? Because it's very really easy to get just a pan and a, a broom. Like, it's, it's very easy to create a shovel and getting free items. It's just a better piggy bank, man. It is here. It is uh, exactly the most busted new item they added in the game. <laughs> I mean, is it busted? It's pretty powerful in my opinion. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.